You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today, I have a new face on this show, anyway, for Greater Brockton. I have John Hayes. John, welcome to Greater Brockton. Hey, thank you very much for having me. Thanks for being here. John, you are trying to, um, and you're doing a good job so far from what I hear, pull together the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association, which, if you're like me and you're an old-time Brocktonian, James Edgar Park is a beautiful place where Legion baseball is played. It's a renovated uh, park within the last couple of years with a big grant. And you live in the neighborhood and you have a lot of neighbors that really care about their neck of the woods, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got a, uh, we've got a core group of about 25 to 30 people that are involved in between street cleaning, park cleaning, and um, pretty much a neighborhood watch. I like to call it that. But um, we, we, we uh, basically go around, we keep the park clean every day. We have alternate people that go in there every day along with the city. Of course, the city does a phenomenal job, especially with the summer program, um, and keep it clean. We like to interact with the kids to make sure that there's no undesirables that are hanging around. And um, we like to put on as much events uh, as we can down there and just keep the kids active. Now we did a promo in your absence with Jacob Taggart. There's, there's a whole bunch of things go coming up real soon. Absolutely. Okay. A uh, couple of things missing possibly from the presentation, but you, as you told me off air, what would you like to add to it or, or talk about? It, it, it's, it's like all sorts of things all in one day. Oh, we're gonna have a phenomenal day. Uh, we're gonna have what is known as a picnic in the park. We ask the uh, people of Brockton, especially in the neighborhood, to come on down, bring a picnic lunch, come out there, just enjoy yourself, sit out in the baseball field. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna have All Rhymes is gonna be DJing the whole event. We've got the Brockton Police Dare Program, the Great Program. It's gonna be motorcycle police, a canine unit. We've got fire trucks. We've got, um, we've got a Humvee and a troop transport from the National Guard, so the kids can run in and out of it. Mm -hmm. We've got face painting, we've got, um, We've got gift bags giveaway. We've got uh, raffles, not charging for any raffles, except for uh, we have one for the Red Sox tickets. But I mean, other than that, the kids are gonna leave with so much stuff. I hope their arms are full. It's mm -hmm. all free. We have about 16 to 20 vendors that are just gonna give, 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 give. Mm -hmm. Let them know they're in the neighborhood and they're there for them. And there's also a movie night there. There's a movie night there. We have two dance studios, by the way, performing. Okay. Uh, one belongs to Eva Pina's group, and she's going to be out there, and the other is going to be uh, Cool Kids. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on at different times. We've got, a, uh, we've got a Reverend Harmon's wife is going to do a brief speech, and she's going to be running the raffles. Okay. So um, w I could go on all day about the, uh, the different organizations that are going on. Uh, Mark and Steve Torrey uh, doing most of the sponsoring of the, um, of the event with the Stacey Adams Cultural Center. Mm-hmm. It's all tying in together. The Stacey Adams Cultural Center down the street from the James Acre Park. Absolutely. They're so, part of the association. So um, the, the event is Saturday, August 13th. That is correct. Okay. Um, and we, we, we promoted it before, so we'll kind of maybe tag these together. Talk about the association a little bit in terms of people. Brockton seems to be kind of a beehive for volunteer activity. And in your association, wouldn't be any different. What are you trying to do to, you know, remind everybody it's a great part, great place to be? It, they did a beautiful job on the renovation. Of oh, the outstanding, outstanding. Um, right now we have the the original Rocky Memorial. Mm -hmm. We have the World War II Memorial. We have Ginny, the original volunteer of all Brockton. Um, what we want to do is get these kids active. We see a lot of hanging around, a lot of things like that. We do, uh, our association is not just Agri Park. We clean Ash Street, we do Tukas, we just did Crosby Gardens, we just finished Keith Ave, oh, okay. uh, doing the painting of the benches at Keith Ave's and the, the cleaning up. We're doing the downtown, did you see the new uh, whiskey barrels with the flowers yeah, and the Campello section? Okay. We're working in, um, with uh, the Brockton Campello Steering Committee to put down uh, the flowers and the flower beds. We're involved in so many little activities right now that uh, we're, we're just time. <laughs> well, Ginny, who you're talking about, I knew her very well, and she loved that park, and she herself, it, even in advanced years, would go out and be there for the cleanup. On, on the Keep Rockton Beautiful Day, she was always there, and, and, and Mike Brady, 
the, the former Ward 2 school committee member, city councilor, then state rep, now state senator, that's his neck. He doesn't live there, but Ward 2 was his, his base. I can't tell you how many times I, Mike, I catch Mike walking around picking up garbage during the city cleanup days. Mm -hmm. He was in with us and we were walking around. I was talking to him. I didn't know he was that personal of a guy. So approachable. And he was, uh, he was really concerned about some of the things that were going on and some, mm -hmm. some questions about what was going to happen to the park's future. And I think that uh, he, he took care of that. Now, do you guys have, besides the work, sometimes there's behind-the-scenes stuff that has to happen. Do you have, you know, monthly meetings? Do you we do, do the have a monthly. Thing? When do you meet? Phone number, website, Facebook, well, we whatever. Have, um, we have on um, the third Thursday of the month, uh, we meet at 33 Dover Street at the Stacey Adams Cultural Center. Um, we're, we're on Facebook on, uh, under Ed, Edgar Park Neighborhood Association. We're on Twitter under Edgar Park, again. Um, the contact phone number is 784-381-0797. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. And uh, that's available up until about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. Um, is that we, you? That is me. There you go. Okay. And um, we make ourselves available to everybody in the neighborhood. We mow lawns for those people that have been there for years who can't do it themselves. Mm -hmm. We do the weed whacking on the sidewalk. We clean up the neighborhoods. They can't do it themselves, you know? That's part of just trying to do the community outreach uh, that's outside the park. So you're always looking for new members, new neighbors, new people to meet, so everybody, uh, more hands will make lighter work. Absolutely. We're always looking for new members. We have great sponsors. Again, Mark and Steve Torrey, Gary Leonard, Arnie and Stephanie Danielson. We got Felicia Damon, uh, Jamie Johnson, who's out in the waiting room. I, I wish she would have done this interview instead of me. Okay. Um, we have so many people. We have a guy named Mike Cara that will do anything for anybody at any time. It's, it's unbelievable what this guy does for us. Um, and he's become so so valuable to us you know and um half of the work that we do in the outreach is his idea well i like it I, I, you, you can inspire other people in other neighborhoods and you travel you, you, you go <laughs> yes. to other neighborhoods and do it so we'll check back with you let us know when you have events coming up we can promote this anytime we can have different guests i do this two times a month three times a month whatever you need we'll come out and get some video at some point Maybe we'll do, we even do a little promo. That'd be great. It. Okay, so that's what we're here for, to help the community as well. Well, I, again, I just want to give a shout out because uh, Jacob Tagger and his group and Tim Cruz and Ollie Spiz have really come up huge for us, and I want to thank them for everything they did when we were not put on the list. Well, thank you for what you do. I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate your time, sir. And we'll have you come back. All right, thank okay. you very much. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.